This is our second video on doing kinematics problems without a calculator. How far will this object travel before coming to rest? All right, so there's our initial velocity. It's a positive number. The acceleration is negative. That means that this object is going to be slowing down. And what do we mean here? If something comes to rest, that means VF has to be zero. So let's just start by figuring out how much time is going to elapse. You could probably do this quickly in your head, but let's go ahead and scribble out some numbers just so you can see the logic. After one second, this object will be moving at positive 20 meters per second. After two seconds, positive 16. Three seconds, positive 12. Four seconds, positive eight. Five seconds, positive four. And right there, six seconds. That's how long it's going to take to come to rest. Now that's not the question. The question is how far will it go? Distance is average speed multiplied by time, right? Or displacement. You want to say displacement is average velocity times time? That's fine. What's the average velocity? Well, it started at 24 and it ended at zero. So I think the average is 12. And it did that for each of six seconds. So I'm thinking that this object will travel 72 meters. We don't need to put a plus sign here because it just says how far. How far will this object travel, which indicates a distance. So there you go. Now, this skill comes in really handy if, for example, you're taking the national AP exam. They might give you a multiple choice problem where they give you numbers that are like this, to actually type it all in is going to eat into your time. So it's best if you're able to just estimate it. So let's try this. This is about positive 8, and this is about positive 3, and this is about 4 seconds. What would the velocities be at each second? Well, it was at positive 8, and it, it's increasing by 3. So that means after 1 second, it's going positive 11. After 2 seconds, positive 14. After three seconds, positive 17. After four seconds, it's going 20. It started at eight. It ended at 20. So what's your V average? 28 divided by two, 14 meters per second. Multiplied by about four seconds. Ballpark answer, 56 meters. There you go. Now, one of the answers probably on the AP exam, if this were an AP exam question, would be this number right here. The other numbers would be significantly different from this. You choose that one. And it took you about 10 seconds to do that problem. Whereas if you type those numbers into your calculator, you find the equation that you need, it might take you 50 seconds or a minute. This is a lot more time efficient. And it shows that you understand what's happening as well.